power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the power cord and the base from the router. And next I'll remove the collet. Now I'll remove the motor cap. Now I'll remove the tension springs from the brushes. The brush springs will store on a clip on the side of the brush holder. Now I'll remove the grounding screw. And now I can remove the plastic ring and field from the motor housing. I use a screwdriver to pry it out of the motor housing. Now I'll use a rubber mallet to remove the armature from the lower bearing. I'll use a bearing separator and a vise to remove the bearing. I place the separator over the bearing, lock it into place, and then I'll place the separator over the vise jaws. I'll use a socket that has a diameter slightly smaller than the inner race. Place the socket on the shaft and use a mallet to tap the shaft out of the bearing. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place the bearing on my vice's anvil. Then I'll place the shaft into the bearing and again I'll use a rubber mallet to tap the shaft down into the bearing. I stop when the shaft is flush with the end of the bearing. There's no shoulder to stop the bearing on this armature shaft. Now I'll reinstall the armature into the motor housing. I align it with the lower bearing, and again I'll use a socket on the end of the armature shaft and a mallet to set it into the bearing. And I'll reinstall the retaining ring. Now I can replace the field. As I slide the field into the motor housing, I need to align the notches with the tabs on the motor housing. I just align it by eyeball and then slide the assembly into place. Now I can reinstall the grounding screw. Now I'll place the tension spring back onto the brush. Now I can reinstall the motor cover. And now I can finish up by reinstalling the collet, reattaching the motor to the base, and installing the cord. And now you can install a new bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.